Hey guys, today we're trying Furwind on the Nintendo Switch. Gandusoft. Boomfire. Furwind. I don't need no. What do you, what do you mean, Wiimotes? Uh uh. I got a pro controller. You can't make me. You can't make me do that. I. Those are fine. All of the settings are audio. I don't know what I expected. This is, this is on a c console. Once, Once upon, upon a oh, time, awkward. deep inside a large forest, a small village resided in perfect harmony with its natural surroundings, protected by the ancestors. All beings lived in peace. The villagers were blessed with good fortune and plentiful crops. Everything seemed to be going well, but suddenly... Wait. The... <laughs> the voice acting didn't match what was on the screen. <laughs> what? <laughs> the subtitle, the, the text on the screen says the villagers prayed them for good fortune and plentiful, which, which actually prayed them is not even prayed to them, but prayed them. Whereas, it, whereas like he said the villagers were blessed with good fortune and plentiful. And that was, I think there was like two or three times and diverged. Weird. That's the first thing that happens in the game and it's already wrong. Darren, the mightiest of the Ancient Ones, felt belittled. In the darkness of the underworld, he hatched a plan of revenge to poison the creature's hearts. When his plans were revealed, his siblings became entangled with him in a terrible battle. A battle that would result in his imprisonment. A thousand years has passed, and the leader <laughs> of the shamanic this? cult released Darren in exchange for power. Weakened, he is hidden, waiting for the moment to rise up. Wounded, yet slumbering, the ancients look for a chosen one to stop the advance of darkness. It's like they're doing it on purpose. Like, I see what it actually says, but I will change like two words just to fuck with you. <laughs> To see if you're paying attention, like in every paragraph. Hey, look at him go- oh. I wasn't ready for that. Is he- He's not. There's no way. That has to be like a necklace and a belt, right? He's not wearing a harness. I'm like, is that a naked fox wearing a harness? Is that what's where- like, I wasn't ready for that. I thought this was a kid's game. Talisman and portal. I can only teleport you right here. Now everything depends on you. You have to get both parts of the talisman to activate the portal and exit. Defeat the guardians who guard it. And get them. Okay. Got a little tail whip. Uses up my stamina meter, it looks like. Jumping does not- oh. Oh, that's the sign. That would make that screen pop up. Whoa! Okay, left bumper throws an exploding acorn. And my character laughs mischievously as he murders everything. I don't think we can break these. Fear me, birds. I mean, you should. I'm a fox. That is, that is bad news for you, all things considered. Is there a secret right here? Can I go in the mouth? Ah. Uh, if I press down, I drop harder. And he makes a funny face. Oh! I think he's grabbing his knees and cannonballing. <laughs> yeah, take that. Oh no, zombie wolf. Die. Oh, it makes sad dog noises. I don't like it. Kill. Did I, did I kill? Yeah. Did I take damage? I don't think so. I think I started at three health, didn't I? Why am I starting at half health? The seed bombs are a useful item in your adventure. 
you can use to blow your enemies and weak walls. Oh. Whoa. I use my seed to blow my enemies as the furry fox in a harness. This is... All right. <laughs> Not blow up, blow. This is, uh, the pixel art and the audio and all that's pretty good. The translation is perfectly wrong in the best way to be hilarious, apparently. To throw a seed bomb, don't... Oh, press left button to throw a seed bomb. That press all button didn't look like it was part of the sentence. Don't worry, they can't harm you. Uses are limited. Okay. Oh, oh Jesus, he's inside the walls! Why would you do that? You've discovered a new challenge. I'm just imagining my head cannon is like, this is, this is Tails, but not like video game Tails from Sonic, but like Tails straight out of a, like a fan fiction. Like it came right out of a fan fiction harness and all. Oh come on. Limited uses, and also it's not going to blow up in the right spot. <laughs> what is this? Resurrection totem, five coins. Ah, so I will I will now resurrect there if I die, I guess. Okay, that's an interesting idea to have like a bonfire style mechanic, but you activate them via a currency. The so that's the risk reward. It's similar-ish to what was in, uh, Shovel Knight. Okay, I just activated one. I'm not gonna do it again right here. <laughs> like, in Shovel Knight, there was places that, you could, that were checkpoints, but if you- and they would activate normally when you came through them, but you could deactivate them by attacking them, and then you get a bigger reward when, from destroying them, but then they didn't exist, so you couldn't get a checkpoint. Boss fight? Who dares to face me? Oh, Giant Fox does a fast charge. Ah. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. Nope. Get hit. Did that even hit him? I th oh yeah, it did. It took out like half his health. Oopsie. Got him. There we go. Huh. Maybe I was a little too fast to compliment the audio-visual setup. The pixel art's decent, but that wolf guy didn't even make, like, an attack sound. I think he growled once when he came in, and then he, like, kept charging by, but the charge didn't have a sound, and he didn't have more than one move, so he was barely an enemy. And then he didn't even make a sound when he died. For that matter, I don't think... Yeah, that's weird. I guess there's no built-in impact sound for when I hit stuff, so it only makes a sound if I hit something if the enemy has a death noise. And since that guy didn't have a death noise, he just died in complete silence. Which is just... ...really not good feedback for the player. Like, it just doesn't feel good... ...when the game just silently... The ca ...just despawns the guy that you hit. And that's the, all the feedback. I get a kick out of the little dive attack. <laughs> So there's zombie wolves, but that other guy is fine. A new challenge. This must be on a menu somewhere. I probably want to keep this one around. Or I can't jump that high. Like that, that makes a death sound. But the wolf boss didn't. Making it all the more weird. Oh, this is my destination. I have to get both of them first. <clears throat> there must be one over here. stuff inside the walls, so it looks like there might be a secret in that direction. I'm trying to, like, burrow my way through. Can you climb up walls or anything? Nope. Nope. No wall jumps. Just a, just a double jump. Oh, 
There we go. Is this what I missed? Oh yeah, there's coins here. There we go. There's gems, so I must have not gone. Oh, that didn't heal me. Are the maybe the top three pieces of top three pieces of health? You think you're strong enough? What to jump over this one attack a lot? Ah, I think I hit him on accident. Oh, that didn't hit him. Why does the wolf get abs? Why can't I have abs? We're not big on clothing. I'm wearing a tiny harness. Like I just came out of the club. And, uh, will wolves just have a loincloth? Oh, I know where to go, game. I figured it out. There we go. Ooh, that was startling. Hey. It's a village of noses. I mean, tents. Okay, so there must be three screens of levels, I guess? Going by that? Challenge one, hum in the jungle. What does that mean? Oh, the hum in the jungle is the bees. Oh, I went, got too greedy. Unnecessarily. That's a lot of bees. Hornets, I guess. Still, they don't seem like they'd be that much of an obstacle. Because they, they follow predetermined paths, so I could just, like, anticipate them and and be ready. Yay! Oh. Oh. Oh, uh, was that good? <laughs> Is that what I wanted to do? That was distressing. Alright. Oh, there. That's not good. Coins. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm alive. You gotta be very careful, because there's a... You can't mix up your hitbox with your body with the hitbox of your tail. There's a very thin boundary between the two, where you'll die if you make a mistake. And now I have one health left, so... Oh, God. Oh, did I beat it? Oh. That was the whole thing. Okay. Level 1. Moontail's Village. Huh. Well, well. Who do we have here? Little Furwind, is it? Little Furwind, it is. What? Is the forest in chaos? Let me see what you have there. Unbelievable. The merchant Corvo's been kidnapped. We must rescue him as soon as possible. I've started to have bad feelings about what is happening. Corwin, you must rescue Corvo. He could be in danger. Huh? I can't move. Oh, it's a menu. Oh, I had exit already highlighted, I guess. Gotcha. Prisoner 1, Night Hunters. Find, find out what this means. Oh. Ah. See, you see, this is crazy. They took a crow character and they named him Corvo, which has never happened before. <laughs> Nobody would ever name a crow or, or raven Corvo. I guess I have to kill them all? Hehehe. <laughs> it doesn't even kill him? Limited use currency item, and it doesn't even kill. What? Oh, I ran out of stamina. I forgot about stamina. Thanks, Verwin. I will come. Oh, something about a store. I I have went up, moved on before I looked at it. I briefly forgot about the stamina system, so I started spamming attacks, and then just stood there like an idiot as they hit me. Whoops. 
Level 2, Exploring Ruins. Put some clothes on, Corvo. Please, for all, for all our sakes. There we go. There we go. I figured I had to use the enemy to platform that. Oh look, they're gonna wreath. They're happy to use that enemy again. Eh, eh, just hit him through the hit him through the wall. We got him. Nope. Nope. Well. I made it! Yeah. Dead. Yeah, so every wolf I ever see is a zombie that looks all sad, except the boss fights, which are huge mega wolves. Did they become mega wolves by, like, absorbing the souls of every other wolf? Is that how this universe works? You don't have to shoot straight. Okay. That's a problem for me, sir. Oh, he died in one hit. I find- I still find it weird that it says that I have three I, it says I have three health slots, but I only get three. I know what the low- I know the battery's low, that's why you're- that's why it's plugged in. Maybe it's getting loose. Oh, 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 oh. The block secretly had an enemy in again. You will be defeated by my artifacts. Don't you mean I'll be defeated by the same fight again? Oh god. Timing bad of jump. Oh, shit. Oh, did- <gasps> He has other attacks? Oh. Interesting. But he still doesn't make a sound when he dies. That guy needs several more sounds. Like growls and howls and his charge should have like a swooshy noise or something. It's dead silent. It, but but his arrows have sound. But he, he, but he just blinks out of existence in one hit. When the death blow is laid. It's strange. At first, at first I was like, oh, maybe they skimped on that one enemy. Because he's like just a one-off dude and they didn't have the resources to polish him, but he's... I fought him three times now. So he's actually not a one-off enemy, he's a really common enemy that is incomplete for some reason. And like they're gonna have the attention to apparently keep iterating on him and give him artifacts and stuff like that. But then he won't make a death sound or most sounds? I don't know. Like, I guess the reason why he has, like, no moves when I first fight him is because he's gonna add moves. Because he just added... He's like, my artifacts will defeat you! And then he started attacking me with arrows. From the ceiling, which... He either didn't have before, or I just beat him too fast. I don't think he had him before, though. I think that was new. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm not getting that. <laughs> uh-uh. Here we go. Boop. This guy also just goes boop out of existence in one hit, with no with no particular sound. These guys make sounds. It's strange. Wee! He looks so happy when he falls really far. He's like, yeah, I'm so happy to be here. Everything's trying to murder me. I don't have any clothes. The world depends on me. And my harness. Looks like I'll have to harness the power of... Oh god. Haha. I'm noticing that when I hit him... Oh god. When I strike him, it's it's harder to notice whether or not I'm doing it successful. Uh, what am I trying to say? When I, when I hit him, he blinks, which makes it hard to register when he's going to hit me with his charge attack, because his charge attack also makes him blink. 
that cut that threw me off the first few times, but I'm, I'm ready for it now. A new challenge has been found. Yeah? What? What is that? Come back. What, what just happened? I tried to catch it. No, nah, it's gone now. Weird. I don't know, there was some kind of like... Like a... like a... Firefly escaped or something. It was back this way, wasn't it? I think. Yeah. I thought that I was near one already. <laughs> Yeah, so many more gems. Die, weird eyeball. You don't deserve to live. Oh, 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 stop doing that. Uh, there's stuff back there. Ah, oh, it's fine. Prisoner 2, dark magic. Oh, that's a lot of projectiles. Oh. Double kill. Ah, damn it, I missed. Whoops. Gotcha. Magnificent. You're very brave to face those guys. Says lamer loser fox who doesn't wear any leather. White, white, I'm white, I'm, I'm white, it is terrible. I'm, I'm, There's only one explanation for this stream of violence. Darun, an ancient and evil ancestor, is waking from his dormant state. His ancient temples of corruption emanate pure evil essence. We must turn to our revered ancestors and search for their help in Shaklu Temple. She will be able to help you face against this menace. Wait, before you go, you have to know that there are many missing villagers. <laughs> it's, it's always one word on the next slide, which makes the timing really funny. Perhaps they have, have suffered the same fate as Corvo. Nah, I already got him, we're good. Why did I save Corvo? What does he do? I mean, yeah, it's nice to save people and all that, but like, is... Is it gonna... Is there like a particular reason? Is he gonna come up? Is he gonna help me? Can he... Can he please help me? Please? 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 This is the Ancestor Shaklu. Ooh, boss fight? Or something? Oh. oh. Oh, I think those are spikes. Okay. Okay. No! That was deeply startling. <laughs> the game's just like, hey, sup? Welcome to the death wall of death wall hands. Did the death wall of death wall hands? This is a good sentence make do have. Okay, that was mean. That was mean. That was really mean.
I miss them, no. Ow. No, 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 no. Oh, I slipped. That was really mean, like, trial and error mechanics. Where, like, you're just not... Oh god. Yeah. Okay. This is getting mean. The initial surprise was kind of neat. But the surprise tr uh, death traps making you start the entire thing over is just kind of a bummer. Looks like you can just barely see the sparkles of how far those paths will go. But you've never seen that mechanic before, so you don't know to look for the sparkles. Hey! You look so happy falling into the Nightmare Oblivion hole. Yeah! Did I just got a giant bicep for a second there? Is that what I saw? Is that what? I'm not sure. That was really quick. Hey. 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 Die. Nope. Nope. Shacklu, the totem ancestor, has granted you the sacred plume power. Use it to fly over the hazards to, or to hit your enemies. When you're jumping, press the A button to use flying power. Uses are limited. Whoa. He look well he looks like he's losing his mind when that happens. That's a trip. <gasps> We're good. Alright. Neat. Alright, that's about the time we have for today. So this is Furwind. If you want to check it out, there's a link to the switch purchase page in the description. Uh, it might be on other platforms, too. Uh, thank you to the Bub for sending me the code so I could preview their game. Thanks for watching, like always, guys. And I'll see you next time. It's charming enough with its art style and its gameplay and stuff. There's just... Definitely some rough ed edges. Some hints of it being incomplete and a translation that's just... Wrong? And that's unfortunate. But oh well. Check it out if you want. See ya.